Lisa Wood. Lisa Wood es una mujer muy admirable. ¿Cómo no admirarla? Trabaja en la industria de los videojuegos. ¡Qué mujer tan perfecta! Su historial. Ella se graduó de la Universidad de Queens con honores en Ingeniería Química. Brillante la señora. Más tarde se graduaría en el 2001 de la Universidad de Santa Clara en Ingeniería Electrónica. Después, maestrías, ya saben, todas esas cosas que hacen. Ella entró a la industria de los videojuegos, como ya dije, pero en especial a una que todos conocemos, Electronic Arts. Si no la conocen... Pónganse a jugar, porque esta señora es muy importante. Y sin más preámbulo, vámonos a la entrevista. First question. How did you end up in the video game industry? How did I end up in the video game industry? I uh, a friend of mine. Uh, he and I were working in a company together. He got recruited away by Electronic Arts. And six months later, he emailed me and he said, Hey, if your husband's looking for a job, come apply. And I wrote back and said, What about me? <laughs> and so I applied, they liked me, and I ended up in video games. Well, so it was like accidental. Completely Maybe. accidental. It was not planned. It was completely accidental. I saw an opportunity and I went for it. So, do you have your own company right now? Where do you work? Uh, so, I work at Behavior in Montreal, Canada. Um, I actually do have my own company, but it's not a game company. Um, I actually have a, I have my own uh, management consulting company. Hmm. So, uh, so part of me being down here is actually building up uh, that uh, that credential, and so to do that. So, uh, but no, uh, for my my normal job, I work in behavior in, in Montreal. So, what is it you do exactly in video games? I am a senior director of development services. Uh, I have a department of teams that um, are shared services uh, that the whole company uses. For example, I have uh, two IT programmers, I have the user interface team, concept artists, um, QA, audio programmers, and I'm also, uh, sorry, I'm sound designers, and I'm responsible for outsourcing. So you manage a lot of people? A lot of different things. Well, I'm a senior director, so, you know, I'm, I'm a senior boss. Yeah. You see, there's even hardcore gamers that don't fully understand how you make a video game. Yes. You think you can explain that to me? Very, very briefly? Yeah, I mean, it starts with an idea. I it guess, starts right? with an idea. Um, it has to be fun. Uh, it, there has to be a gameplay, something that keeps people, uh, keeps people interested for about 10 to 15 hours. Um, <laughs> Lots of games have story, but that's uh, but then there's sports games and, and other types of games that don't have stories. Um, so it starts with an idea, game design. There's usually art direction. Uh, then programmers they, they get involved and, and start to build a, the engine and the pipeline and everything to build it. And art gets created. Um, level designers put everything together. Uh, and then uh, there's quality assurance at the end. That uh, oh sorry, sound design can't forget mm -hmm. audio. And then there's quality assurance at the end that tests, uh, tests everything and uh, tells everybody about all the bugs. <laughs> so that's a very basic level of how it works. So how long does it take to do all this? No. Um, depending on the size of the game. So games for your cell phones, two months. Uh, a Nintendo DS, it's about six months. Uh, for Wii and uh, some Xbox 360 PS3 games, it's about a year. For the really big games, it can be two years to five years. Mm, so which kinds of games uh, sell more? Uh, the, the games, that, which type of games? Well, first person shooters still are very popular. Um, the MMOs like World of Warcraft is still doing extremely well. Um, currently, the pl games that are played the most are actually Facebook games. Facebook games. Facebook games. Mobile games. Those are being uh, actually the most and most frequently used. Um, the biggest selling games often have uh, licenses attached, so they're uh, with movies or, or some other things. It's probably the biggest selling games. Well, there's one more question. Close up.
How about Mexico? How about Mexico? Um, I think it's very exciting that Mexico is, is developing the game industry. Um, I visited a couple of studios down here. Uh, they're learning a lot. Um, they're not making the same mistakes that some of the American companies have made. So I think it's very promising, um, and it's a very exciting time. And if I do, if I were to have business right now to um, to to give to a studio here in Montreal, I, I would be sorry, here in Mexico, I'd be interested in doing that. I just unfortunately right now don't have that. Well, that would be it. Okay. We, we thank you a lot for your time. You're very welcome. Well, we hope you come back soon. I hope so too. I love the weather. Thank you. <laughs> you too. Lisa Wood, una persona sumamente exitosa, relevante en el ámbito de los videojuegos. ¿Qué más podemos decir? Entrevistar a alguien que trabaja para una de las empresas más importantes del mundo en este ámbito, pues, como dice el comercial, no tiene precio. Su trabajo lo podemos encontrar en cualquier parte del mundo. Ha sido un honor para nosotros poder entrevistar una personalidad del calibre de ella. Sin más, los invito a jugar un poco más de Nintendo. Y los dejo con esta bella imagen que nada tiene que ver con nuestra entrevista. Gracias. Where can you let the musicians in? 